For a while, and I'm guessing in the 1950s, Singer offered a four crocodile skin, suitcase style, carry case for their machines. They are often scratched, peeling and filthy. In this video I'm going to show you how I get them to look a whole lot better. These cases came in both 3 quarter and full size, so you may find a 99 in one or a 201. They took a standard size sewing machine base, the same ones that were used with bentwood cases. In fact you will see the hardware is still there on the base to attach a bentwood cover. There's often a wire holder for an oil can, one for the box of accessories and a space to store the wooden bed extension. The four crocodile skin is kind of like a thick cloth backed wallpaper and is relatively easily damaged so I need to be careful how I go about cleaning it. I'm using elbow grease but sugar soap would work just as well. And a lightly dampened microfiber cloth. I'm gently wiping over the surface, I don't want to saturate the fabric. I'm also cleaning the wood inside. You can see plenty of wear marks on this case. This case has the mandatory paint splashes, so I'm going to start by gently wiping over with elbow grease as I don't know what sort of paint this is. But that's not really cutting it, so I try a non-abrasive pan scrub. And that's still not shifting it, so it's time to bring out the big guns, starting with white spirits. The white spirits doesn't bring it off either, so I try isopropyl alcohol. And that doesn't cut it either. Finally, I try methylated spirits. Which brings the colour off the fabric. So avoid meths or denatured alcohol at all costs. I resort to carefully scraping the paint off with a blunt Stanley knife blade. Why didn't I try that first? Hi, I'm Tony, and I make the mistake so you don't have to. Next I'm taking off the hardware. On this case, really only the handle is removable, 
the rest of the external hardware is pinned in place. I'm going to brush on regular PVA glue to all the edges of the fabric that are part in company with the case. And wiping off the excess with a damp cloth. You can see there's a lot of corrosion on the latches and I want to polish them up. Normally I'd remove them to polish, but I can't in this case, so I'm going to protect the area around the latch with some low tack masking tape. If you don't have low tack tape, stick some regular masking tape to your jeans. It'll pick up the fibres from the denim and reduce the stickiness of the tape. I'm using my trusty Autosol metal polish and wire wool to thoroughly clean up the catchers and the metal corner protectors. and it's looking a lot better. Not perfect, but better. I'm going to try and even out the finish and disguise some of the wear and tear with some Rustin's wood stain. I'm just applying this lightly with a piece of old t-shirt material. It's having some effect, but not enough. So now I'm trying a coloured liquid wax by Colron. Any stubborn marks I'm covering up with one of these marker pens from this furniture scratch repair set that we picked up at one of the bargain stores. And this works a treat.
Another coat of the liquid wax helps smooth out any pen marks. Finally, I give the whole case a polish with brown shoe polish. Using a shoe brush to apply a good coat of polish. Then buff it off with a microfiber cloth. The final thing to tackle is the handle. And while this looks like old worn leather, it's actually painted pressed metal. So I spent some time with wire wool and autosol metal polish, they really should be sponsoring my videos, to get off any rust and old paint. I'm painting the handle with metal paint, don't ask the colour or brand as it was something we mixed up ourselves while trying to match the colour of the irons on a treadle cabinet. After three coats of metal paint, I really think the handle looks just right. I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have please give it a like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss out of any of my future uploads. Thanks for watching.